Hi and welcome to the eagerly awaited heck video. I have been heckled quite a bit for not getting this up and people have been asking me what the heck is taking me so long. And that is enough of the heck puns, I should also add. Now the reason this has taken me so long is I've been doing a bit of playing with this. This is basically how the shotgun was originally and yeah that is a pretty old screenshot there. But the damage of 147, the fire rate was only 2.2 with an accuracy of 9.1 and a 4 magazine. Not much has changed from that over time. It did later become this which had 26.3 impact, 113.8 puncture, 35 slash. The accuracy and the fire rate stayed the same. The crit you could actually see, then the status was added for obvious reasons, because before that status was pretty meaningless, you just added an element to it. So it was a kind of given 25% status, but this was after they'd already nerfed the hell out of the heck. Now, on the other hand, it's more like this. The slash, instead of being 35, is now 105. The impact is 78.8 instead of 26.3 and the puncture is 341.3 instead of 113.8 status is still the same i love the fact the accuracy after so long is still 9.1 even though it really isn't <laughs> because as i say they made it so it has fall off the grouping was increased so you couldn't hit them as far away the status chance is the same, the crit multiplier is the same, and pretty much everything else is the same. Now, what I've done is, when it comes to formatting it, I format all I needed for the kind of build that I'm going to run this weapon with. And I only put two Vs on this, or however you wish to pronounce that word. And all I put on this was the primed point blank, which you will notice is not that much um, better than the normal one because I haven't maxed it. The normal one's 90, this one's 120 and if I swap the normal one in it doesn't make that well. It actually makes a huge difference. Look at that. And yeah, I am aware people can see these numbers here. I haven't got to that yet. But yeah, um, the elemental stuff along the bottom here, the four event elemental mods which are obtainable uh, most of the time now because um, the Void Trader Barrow will actually bring sh um, Shell Shock maybe one day. But the reason I have Viral and Radiation here, I mean I could swap it round and the numbers would stay pretty much the same but it would change to Blast and Corrosive. I just have it like this because I've explained why I tend to run radiation and that's to get them to fight amongst each other. Viral is a byproduct of that, trying to get the 100% status on this actual weapon. Now I've said it before, I'll say it again, Sp uh, split chamber, ha, caught myself that time. Hell's chamber, all multi shot, all shotgun weapons need multi shot, It even the pistols. Uh, Anything that fires lots of rounds at once needs multi-shot. If you take that out, it drops dramatically. So that is definitely needed. Scattered Justice from Steel Meridian. I think it's Steel Meridian. If it's not, I'm going to get a lot of grief for calling it Steel Meridian. But I think that's right. Their augment for this adds 200% multi-shot. And if we take that out, it goes down a lot. And if we take off the other multi-shot mod... Yeah, it's the numbers have gone down to such a point that it's not worth using this weapon over anything else. This weapon is made usable mainly thanks to the Scatter Justice mod, which more than doubles its damage. Because as you can see, it's 5.8. If we throw that in there, it's 11.1. Okay, it's just under double the damage. But that is just straight up ridiculous from three mods. Then of course I do have Blaze in here which is a Nightmare mod which adds 60% damage and also adds extra heat damage, hence the reason that Radiation is 11,000 whereas Viral is only 7. But that has made this thing completely vicious, I mean come on, ignoring the elemental side of this completely, the Slash is now 1,000, the Puncture is 4,000. The impact nearly made it to a thousand. I've got the status up to a hundred percent and this is not the best build in the world. 
I keep getting wrong for the builds. This is just the build that I happen to have on it already, which is the build I also used when I actually first put this in here, and it's never gone wrong for us. It's got 100% status, and there's enough multi-shot in this to annihilate anything that stands in front of you. You can kind of see the grouping of the rounds. I mean, I keep backing up here so you can actually see them spread out as I move a lot, move backwards there. Because you can see the way they've spread out and the closer you get, the closer they become. And what I didn't expect was it basically to be one round at that distance. That is, okay, that is not a great deal of distance, but uh, that is a fair few rounds to actually go into things and you can kind of see how far it was spread out considering I was shooting down the middle and it spreads out quite badly and that is actually it hasn't killed the weapon it originally did but it does so much damage now that really it makes no difference what range you actually shoot things at because they're gonna die no matter where you are in the room because it just does that much damage and yeah you're right if I you seen that there, the guy I shot here died over there because of the radiation and the viral. I left them with such little health, the elemental side of it finished them off. Which is another reason I have the 100% status on there. And I just, yeah, annihilate everything. Nothing can stand up to this. It is just, I'm not going to say it is the best shotgun by far, but come on, it is a, just... It is back to what it originally was, almost. It's not quite there yet, but adding in this much multi-shot. Try backing up, backing. I know there's a guy to my left, by the way. I did see him. Still taking it out. Still works really well. And I mean, this was my primary weapon for the longest of times. Hmm, that made sense. The longest of time, but I just. Once they nerfed it, I just stopped using it. Actually, as soon as I got the, um, I forgot the no. I knew that was coming. I could sense it. Yeah, as soon as I got the Bratton Prime, that was it. I was pretty much done. But come on then, Arbiters of Hexus. Get off my screen. Send your minions. Oops, you're dead. Oops, you're dead. Oops, you're dead. <laughs> Oops, you're dead. Yeah. What kind of level are these? 42. One shot. One shot. Actually, I think, yep, I took two out at once there. Can I do it again? Ah, oh, he moved. Now, the only problem with this comes down to your own aim. As you can see, the biggest problem there was me. I missed the rounds. There's still somebody. Oh, I'm going to get up close and personal with you. Because you don't have to aim this thing. You just got to get close enough and, yeah, down the go. Also helps if you... Why am I losing... Oh. Why am I losing shields here? If I, I couldn't have broke a window. There's not a window in this room. And there's not a window in the room we just came out of. And it's not the back... Of, what just happened? There is no window to break here. Unless the security system just vents the oxygen when it goes into lockdown now. I love this weapon. I really do. I loved it since the day it came out. All they've done is basically fix it. Oops. Another double kill. And I keep missing the flying guy. But basically these things will now become really useful against almost everything. It originally had limitations. It's obviously still going to have similar limitations where the range is not the best. Because you got to remember it's a shotgun. It's meant for short range. Which is why I always used to carry... The twin vipers because the twin vipers were my backup for the heck what the heck couldn't kill the twin vipers could now the twin vipers have faded into memory a bit like the heck did so i'm kind of hoping there'll be a buff for those one day did that guy actually okay he did die oh what's it gonna do to you nothing nothing it's not gonna break a shield at all I just beat him down to death. So yeah, the buff to the shotguns is absolutely great. And I am loving the heck a lot more than I, it was before this. Of course, the Steel Meridian mod helps 
a lot. Without it, it just it wouldn't be the same kind of beast that it once was. Across the room. <laughs> Love doing that. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.